Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at iOS 12 beta 3. This is going to be my follow up video to give you guys some information in regards to battery performance fixes and maybe some other changes and new features that I come across as I use the software for a couple days. I usually install the software, give you guys a first video, and then I come back with some more information for you guys because there's no way for me to know if certain things are fixed if I really don't use the phone myself, right? So let's get to it. First off, I want to talk about GPS, very, very important thing here. With GPS, of course, that means also maps apple since apple got rid of google maps as a default mapping solution for ios they committed the big mistake to do that early and ios has always been plagued with map issues map data missing uh, wrong directions turn by turns wouldn't work properly i mean it was a disaster since apple dropped it in ios 7. so now a few years later apple is finally bringing their mapping solutions to up the standards that most users would expect from apple so at this point apple is going to be adding a lot more data it's going to be a lot more reliable and with that beta 3 also fixes gps i actually put beta 2 and beta 3 side by side inside of my car to test the gps and it's actually fixed in beta 3 so that's one of the things that was frustrating about gps in beta 2 so beta 3 completely fixes that issue i'm happy to report that those of you who were having issues can now rely on google maps or apple maps to get to where you're going in beta 3. one of the bugs that were fixed in beta 3 was the text here not aligning you see the battery percentage does not align here with the carrier if we take a look here at beta 3 you see that it now aligns perfectly as it should unlike beta 2 was completely off so great to see that apple is fixing little minor bugs there within the os now something really neat i noticed as i was using beta 3 for the last couple of days is a really cool animation when you go to close all clear notifications here you see how you get a 3d touch really bouncy effect here for the notifications something we didn't have in beta 2 it's just something that you notice if you pay attention when you go to close notifications i pay attention to those little details and i noticed this one the last couple of days here in beta 2 you see how it just kind of chops right in right here in beta 3 it just gives you really cool bouncy effect take a look really cool now for those that didn't know in messages application when you take a photo you now have the ability to add stickers and effects to your photos and we have some additional ones that apple has added including some of the activity rings and things like that that we would find on apple watch so very interactive i'm happy that apple is expanding on the fun factor that brings to photos inside of messages this time around in ios 12. now this one i see more as a step backwards as you see here we can tap and hold to copy the phone number here on the contacts for the phone application and it says my phone it shows you your your phone number and beta 3 we can't tap and hold to copy or share that information either so i think we took a step back here now here's something rather interesting apple delayed the locking mechanism for the iphone in beta 3 so i'm gonna press the side button at the same time and you'll see that beta 3 just takes a lot longer see that let's do that again pressing the button at the same time and still beta 3 has a slight delay when locking the device if you want to get a quick look at Siri shortcuts and try it out, Apple is now opening up invitations to developers. You can submit your request if you're a developer and you may be able to get selected by Apple to test Siri shortcuts. Now, Siri shortcuts, that's going to be the application that allows Siri to become more personalized with custom commands for certain actions. So if you would like to give it a run, uh, I'll leave a link down below. I've already requested to see if I can get selected to try Siri shortcuts with iOS 12. This application is set to be debuting with iOS 12, but it's still not here yet and Apple's allowing certain developers hopefully i'll get a sneak peek and share with you guys but you can now request apple to do it through test flight by the way so you can request to get an invitation through test flight and try siri shortcuts now for ipad users the voice memos application received a ui update you see there that the voice memos application looks entirely different than it did in beta one i think it looks fantastic actually i know a lot of people that use this for school so now you have a cleaner interface easier to use as well and last but not least i'd like to talk about my personal experience with ios 12 beta 3 in the last couple of days how the operating system is performing how everything is running has been fantastic i have absolutely no complaints in regards to battery has been phenomenal as i mentioned before it's very similar to previous betas like beta 1 and beta 2 i'm surprised that apple has made ios 12 beta 3 feel almost like an official release of ios so if you would like to try it out i don't see why not links will be in the description for the public beta testing program if you want to go ahead and run it on your device i absolutely recommend it even though it is a beta 3 it feels almost better to me than ios 11. now of course all devices are different and the experience may vary but overall generally the experience has been very very good so if you'd like to try it out links in the description this has been my quick update i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you on the next one peace